Well, hello you lot, how's it going? Right, um, I've got this little starter box um, on the bench. It's a Kyosho, uh, isn't it? Kyo yeah, Kyosho Half 8 starter box. I don't know, whatever that is. Um, it was alright, worked very well, nice little starter box. Um, trouble was, the motor died on it and um, it literally, I think it just burnt out basically. And uh, now I can't get it to work at all. So, I'm going to take the motor out. And uh, we can have a look at it. Maybe the switch is gone, I don't know. But we'll take the motor out, we'll have a look, see what's the matter with it. And, um, yeah, see what part numbers it is or whatever. And uh, have a look, see, get a, get a motor for it, hopefully, with any luck. So how do we get it out? Let's have a oh, let's drop it like that. So it looks like we have to undo some screws. Now let's undo, let's just do what I always do and undo screws willy-nilly and see what we end up undoing. Uh... That might be a screw to undo. There's always a good way to uh, work something out. It's just undo screws. And um, stuff will start to fall out and come apart. And then uh, you can work out what it is you need to do. Maybe that one as well. Might have to do a bit of desoldering perhaps or something. Like that. I don't know. Oh, that's all loose now. How do you get rid of this? How do you get rid of that? Right, let's undo these screws. We should be able to get rid of the little battery compartment. And then we can... Because uh, I want this to be working properly good. Uh, I want this to be... Because uh, this goes for that little mi oh, little mini inferno. And uh, I proper li like that little, bu that little buggy thing. That is an awesome little thing. So I want this to work. So... Yeah, got rid of the little battery box, and uh, now we can see properly what we've got. That should come off of there. Looks like it's held on by a little bearing. There we go. That's off of there. The belt's off. Now we've got the motor there. So if we undo, we have to do a bit... Oh, no, no desoldering there. Ah, oh, I remember I soldered that one on, didn't I? That one's got a connector. I soldered that one on because I'm a bit of an idiot. Shouldn't have done that, really, but... Let's, oh, we've got to take that. We've got to take that little circlip off. But that might come off. No, it won't. It won't come off. Uh, or we could just undo that little Allen screw there. Let's. Uh, we got any Allen keys? Allen key. Oh, Allen key. Oh, everyone loves an Allen key, don't they? Eh? Very handy. But if you don't get a good one, they do round off easy, and you end up with um, Allen bolts stuck everywhere that you can't get off and um let's have a look what's that no nope, that don't want that we want we don't want that that's what we want millimetrics we want millimetrics we don't want bloody pounds feet and bloody inches right that's it. stick that in there hopefully We'll be able to undo a little grub screw in there. There we go. Or not. Nope, that's just going round and round in there. Well, we get rid of that. That's no good. Must need a better Allen key. Oh, I could just take that little circuit. Might be able to get that off. There we go. One little circlip. Put that with the screws. Now that will come off of there. Lovely. Put that over there. Little pin. Comes out. Trouble is, I'm still stuck with this little bloody Allen key here. This little grub screw. But let's have a look. Is there, is there any numbers on this motor? No, there's no mo numbers on it really. So... It's going to be down to uh, the internet to find out which one will fit. But it's definitely... Uh, yeah, I might have to just find out which one will fit. Take measurements of this, this, the shaft. Take measurements of everything, just in case. Because I know what will happen. I'll go down to Active Scale or somewhere, and they go, we don't do nitro and stuff anymore, so they won't have a motor for it, because this is a nitro. But they might have a motor but They might have a motor for an electric car that will fit a starter box. 
So I'll, I'll go to them first, and if not, I'll have to shop around on the old inty web and find out what we've got. But I need to play around, try and get that Allen key out of there, because I need this little spindle, you see, this little thing. So without it, I won't be able to do a lot. I've got some better Allen keys that might work in here. But the, the, these ones have a tendency to snap off. Well, they're, they're actual branded Allen keys, but they have a tendency to snap off. I don't, I don't know. Well, the smallest one don't fit. That's a shame, isn't it? The smallest one don't fit in there. It's too big. Oh, wow. Is this the one that fitted? No, it wasn't, was it? It was that one. Well, if it don't come off, I might be able to, uh, I might be able to sort it out somewhere, but let's add it in there, that is now. Let's add it in there. There we go. There we go. That's that off, and now I've got more space. I should be able to sort that Allen key out, that, that, that little grub screw out now. I've got now I've got more space, I can stick it in the vise and get that out. But there's a little shaft. All our tools are out all over the place again, as usual. Let's take off this little mount. Like that. Put the mount over there for all the screws and bits and bobs. Yeah. Don't sound very good, does it? What I'm going to do is I'm going to desolder that. Let's take that off of there. Let's turn the soldering iron on. All right, soldering iron's on and heating up. So I'm going to desolder this. And then uh, I can... Test the motor with a battery just by putting some wires on it in a, you know, a, without it being connected. And we'll, we'll, we'll eliminate. I wanted to get a new motor for this anyway, because I dare say some of you lot are probably thinking, why don't you just bloody take the switch out and test the switch before you go to the palaver of taking the motor out? Well, the reason is last summer or the summer before, whenever it was. Uh, when I was fanning around with this, um, I might not need to desolder it. Look. Oh, I don't need to desolder it. Turn the soldering iron off. I'll just snip the wire. Right. When I was fanning around with it, I realised that it was a weak. It was weak anyway. The motor was weak, um, and it didn't sound the best. It's, it's you know it's quite old. What do you expect? You know some motors do do that. So that's what happened. So I thought to myself, I'll get a new motor anyway. So let's see if I can uh, rig up a little bit of a test rig. Right, so I've set up a little bit of a test rig. We've got a 12 volt battery here. And I know the motor's not 12 volts because, well, I don't think it is. It might be, for all I know, but I don't think it is. I think it's a 7.2 volt uh, battery motor. But anyway, and I just accidentally touched it and it sparked. So, so then me being me, inquisitive, I touched it and it gave me a little jolt <laughs> and it started working but now it won't work again um, I didn't mean to do it yet I was going to wait for you lot but um, anyway so if I touch the battery we get sparks but the motor doesn't work so if I get some pliers touch the battery on But if you let it stop, it don't normally start again. See, look, it tries. Did you see it? It moved a bit. It tried to go. You know what that means, don't you? We've got a flat spot in our motor.
<laughs> if you tell me that you've never sat there and revved an electric motor before thinking it sounds like a motorbike, I won't believe you. Oh, bloody hell, that, that gives you a little jolt, that does. It must have a little capacitor in there. Well, it has. Well, it works. That's 12 volts going from there. This is a... Uh, that's a battery that I nicked off of a... Um, I've got two of them. I nicked them off a stair lift. Brand new batteries. Nicked off a stair lift. So, um, we know that it works. The motor is the problem. And the motor's got a flat spot in it, which is causing it to... Um, you know, when it stops at a certain point, it won't be able to restart unless you give it a jolt. Um, so... And that's on 12 volts. Uh, we'll see, hang on. Just going to solder on. Solder that back on. Bit of flux on there. Solder it back on. Oh, got the wrong solder, hang on. Got to go and get the other solder. I've decided... That's lead-free solder. I, do, I picked it up by mistake. I can get that can go in the bin, that stuff. Um, I'm going to put this motor back on. Uh, bloody hell, that's hot. That's because that's on 12 volts. I don't think it's a 12 volt motor. It's probably not. It's a, it's a, a um, 7.2 volt motor only. That's why. But um, anyway, if it's had it, I'll just take it out again and get one. Um, if it hasn't had it, then brilliant. Happy days. That's the stuff. Right. A little bit of soldering. And away we go. Jolly ho, Roger. Jolly ho. Matches have got wet. Ah! The struggles. The struggles of wet matches. Ah! Bloody hell. I need to get myself one of those little blow torches, really, don't I? For doing the heat shrink. Because my matches just get wet out here. They get damp and then they don't want to burn properly oh. ah. right I'm gonna do the rest of this heat shrink and then I'll come back right we're all back together again and we're at the situation now where we can try a battery in it. Uh, let me get one. <clears throat> Got a couple. Got a couple of batteries. That one and that one. And we'll try them. See what happens. Should be, uh, we might have to just give it a jolt. I don't mind having to just give it a bit of a helping hand now and again. Huh. That's had it. There's more smoke coming out of that motor than anywhere else. Can you see it? All the smoke. You can't see it, could you? Bloody hell, I wasn't holding it in view. You just see all the smoke coming out of it. It's not having it, is it? Not having it. So. Bit of an issue there. Right, I'll just get a new motor for it. There you go, you lot. Um, you'll see me in the next one. Where are you? There you are. Bloody Jesus. I'll, uh, I'll go and get a motor. I'll take it all out again, measure it all out, um, and get a different motor for it. They, um, I haven't looked, all right? So I haven't looked anywhere. I might just better type the name of the starter box in um, and put motor in it. might come up with spare parts and the motors and I can just get one. Um, but we'll see, we'll see. It'll be good fun. But I thought um, it might be worth trying to repair it um, and get it to go. But uh, I'll have to do that 
another time to get it going because I, I'm running out of time for now. Catch you a lot later on and uh, I'm sure we'll have many many more foul repairs that are coming up you know and, uh, and hopefully loads of good good repairs that actually do work but um, I'll catch you a lot on the next one all the best enjoy yourselves and remember if something breaks before you go and spend any dollar any money try to repair it first yeah save yourself some money there's so many rich people out there that don't give an uncle's monkey and waste all the money and are very and uh, unresourceful yeah so don't be don't be like that make sure you try and repair what you've got um before you go and spend some money and that way you know be better off for you better off for the environment better off for everybody take care you lot all the best